But I just wanted to say congratulations, first of all, on Pretty Red Dress. I thought that both of your acting was phenomenal. Thank you. Phenomenal. And I really, really enjoyed it. What were your initial reactions when you read the script? Did you understand it, like, straight away, got it? Or did it take, like, a couple read-throughs? That's a nice question. I think it it was very clear to me straight away. Yeah, 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 from, from my audition tape. The, the scenes that wow. I was presented with mm-hmm. were very clear. One was a scene where he was having an argument with his daughter, mm. so he was quite aggressive. And the other scene, he was putting on the dress for the first time. Okay. So yeah. I was very, very immediately um, presented with this duality of this person, his masculine and his feminine. Mm-hmm. So straight away, I was like, okay, wow, this is something that I want to explore. This is a really complex character that gives me the opportunity to portray this human individual that's struggling mm. with different sides of himself so yeah I was I was in straight away yeah. you know, I'm not gonna lie when I got to his scenes mm-hmm. I had to reread them because I said, did, said did, I, did that just happen <laughs> 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 so I definitely got it but I had to reread it because I was like oh no we've really gone there mm. and of course when I'm presented with a role it doesn't talk about really anyone else's role apart from what is required from you for that audition piece mm. Mm. So when reading the full script, I was like, this is unbelievable. And I was fully invested. And when I had the audition with Dion on Zoom, actually, I remember saying to myself, I've got to be open about how I feel about this, this mm. character and this film. And so I said to her, Candice is me. So whether you give me this part or not, I just want you to know that she's me. You made her for me. <laughs> and she started laughing. Awesome. And then I said to her, I will work my socks off to make sure that I achieve, if you give me this role, to just to make sure I achieve how you want this, this character to be presented to the world. Mm-hmm. And I definitely thought I lost it after that. And I got a call like a week later and I was like, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. So it was lovely to, to be able to read the script and understand how difficult and challenging this film's going to be for everyone because we're all on a different journey. And I just wanted something that was so challenging, actually, enough for me to go, yes, I'm proud of it, you know? And it's, 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 it's so easy to get caught up in certain things, but this film for me and how it's written, you really can't get caught up in it because every day was a new surprise of how you were feeling within that moment, within filming. Mm-hmm. And even down to certain scenes that I don't want to give away, but certain scenes between myself and Natey, the reaction you see is actually the natural reaction that you see there and then that I've seen him in doing certain things at the, for the first time mm-hmm. in the film. Mm-hmm. And so it was, it, was, it was special to make, I felt, really, really special. Yeah, and I'm with you because I completely understand as well, because I went into it, I didn't even watch the trailer at first, so right. I just went into watching the film, oh. and I was like, it started off a bit peculiar. <laughs> right. I think peculiar is a good word. Right. <laughs> like, and then as we went into it, I was like, oh, I get it now. And okay. it all tied together. And by yeah. the end of it, I was like, I love this. You like, end up, I hopefully, you end up rooting for them as a family. Yeah, as a family, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. And also, like, your dynamics are so great as well. So, not just with you two, but also with Niche. Mm-hmm. Um, so, just about that, were you always like, really great together, chemistry wise? Oh, or. God. Was that something that you just like built up over time? This one. I hate it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I hated her first. <laughs> we clicked really quickly, to be yeah. honest. Like yeah. I met you so at our quick. chemistry read for the first time, mm-hmm. yeah. and it, yeah, like oh, it was amazing. great. And Temi as well. We really were a family. We laughed a lot. Like the so three of us nice. just <laughs> messed about, and then we'd <laughs> shoot our serious scenes, and then mm-hmm. we'd mess about again. But we we had like two weeks of rehearsal. Yeah, and um, right. that really mm. cemented our bond yeah. together and I think we were all individually through the help of Dion so invested in our individual characters and our stories that when we when you put us together it kind of just like exploded yeah. and we're all we're three of us really free in what might mm. happen in a scene and everyone brings their individual angle yep and um, so the scenes were magic they were when, when we filmed them they were it, nice. I just remember saying to um, Dion and Georgia, I'd already met Timmy and her mum and beautiful sister. And then I and then I met Nate and I was like, he walked out the room and I went, he's the one. I was like, if you don't book him, I can't do this because this guy here is the one. And they were like, we're on the same page. I was like, I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> because us three is a little family unit. Is yeah. It feels strong. And if it's strong now at the beginning when we haven't even shot a scene or done mm. a read through, then it's only going to get stronger, hopefully. And it certainly did. It was just incredible. Incredible. 
Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. That's so yeah. nice to hear, like, you speak about it so, like, nicely. Um, but two weeks sounds crazy to me, of rehearsal time. That yeah, sounds crazy. Well, apparently it's really unheard of. Yes, yeah, yeah. Dion we was saying. We were very that, lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, two weeks is long in, in film? Well, it's or? apparently, you don't get that at all. You, oh. you get, I don't even know what you yeah. get. Straight we on set. Lucky. You, we maybe. Lucky. We were very lucky to have the two weeks and, and we used it to our advantage. Mm -hmm. We dug deep into those characters, mm -hmm. had our backstory understood that if if we had forgotten a line we know where we're going with it because mm -hmm. we understand our characters deep enough and Dion was just so she was so relaxed about the whole process and didn't dictate to us how our characters should be considering she wrote the film mm. Mm -hmm. she was very much like so what do you think about Candice or what do you think about Travis etc etc and um, allowed us to explore it a bit more and then and then would see if it would relate to how she felt which was really interesting. Interesting process. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be in cinema soon. So yeah. how are you feeling about now the masses seeing it? Because it's oh, one Lord. thing doing it for yourself and like yeah. being in that little oh. bubble for a while. And now mm. you're going to have like loads of people's opinions and reactions. So oh, I mean, I'm excited. Yeah, man, I'm really, I'm really excited. excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because Nervous so many, about it, yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's so many facets to this story. Like yeah. there's this young black family, nuanced black family that are going through stuff. Mm. They have an mm. intense love for each other. Mm -hmm. But there's also that dysfunction mixed in, and I hope that you know the audiences attach themselves with the individual characters and their journeys of like exploring this love yeah. and this difficulty, because it is a story that we don't always get to see. This like just beautiful black family just mm. trying to figure mm. stuff out. Yeah, and you know we've all got a, a kind of journey that each character goes on throughout the piece. Um, some directly related to the red dress and the freedom that it could provoke but I think everyone every character by the end of the film is freer than when they started yeah definitely yeah, definitely man. yeah yeah and Alexandra I loved watching you in mum mode obviously you are a mother you're a mother <laughs> of a small baby thank you so um sweet. congratulations by the way thank you very much thank you <laughs> but in this film you're playing the mother of a teenager I know so Hard. could you see yourself <laughs> adopting any of Candice's <laughs> parenting techniques uh -huh. well, <laughs> That's what a minute. Uh, what a question. Um, well, I guess it's a mixture of yes and no, because uh, the way that Candice has her relationship with her daughter in this film, I sometimes, I, you know, I, when I've watched it back, I'm like, Whoa, it's really harsh in a way because they clash mm -hmm. quite a fair bit. Yeah. And, but I do think, of course, it's very normal. Like, for example, I can only bring it to myself and what I've gone through. When I was younger, there was definitely times where I clashed with my mum. It must mm -hmm. be a mother-daughter thing. And I can only say that the relationship did get better, but it de we definitely had our moments, of course. Mm -hmm. We were both qu quite similar, fiery people when I was younger. I tested her for sure. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know, it, it, this relationship in particular, I thought it was a joy to play because of course, at the time, I wasn't a mum. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was exploring how that worked with a teenage daughter that can, can she can chat back. And, mm. uh, you know, it, there's nothing you can really say about it because she's following the footsteps of her mother. <laughs> so it's <laughs> like, you know, what can you do? But at the same time, it was lovely to, to, to play that role and, and have that dynamic between us two because Temi's such a special actress. She's amazing. And so, everything that she was doing, I bounced off. So when she was giving me attitude, I was a bit like, oh, God, I was so taken back by it because in real life, she's not like that. So I was like, oh, my goodness, I'm having to learn how to handle things. But mm -hmm. it was so intriguing. And I learned I learned so much in that process. But me as a mother right now, I mean, I don't have a teenager. So ask me that in a few years time, <laughs> because at the minute I've got a, a lovely little, a little baby who basically you know, just crawls around and yeah. doesn't do very much at the minute. Yet, <laughs> just brings me a lot of joy. No attitude yet. So yeah, I hope that day yet. never comes. <laughs> it won't come for a very long time anyway. Oh, so God. you're all good, you're all good. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> and Nady, I loved watching you in this as well. I feel Thank like you. every emotion for both of you just felt so real. And like when you're talking about the family dynamic, it just felt real to me. Yeah. Um, so how did you feel taking on this role that I could only presume is so different to anything you've done before? Yeah, it was, um, I felt honoured to be given the opportunity to play this strong black man mm -hmm. who is a partner, who is a mm -hmm. father, but who's just, who's struggling at the moment, you know what I mean? He feels inadequate in so many parts of his life. He's just come out of prison. 
he has responsibilities and he's also in the middle of finding himself and his feminine side. And uh, it's a struggle that he puts on himself and it's a struggle that is imposed on him by society and societal views. And you kind of watch him uncover his truest self and he does it in sometimes not the best way. Mm. But, um, but it's his way. Yeah, and for mm. me it was just a great opportunity to play someone so complex and nuanced and start a conversation about what it is to be a man and what it is to express yourself in, a, in its truest form. That's a really good answer, that's really nice. And have you both learned new things about yourselves throughout this filming process? Ooh. Oh, I love that. Wow. What have I learned about myself? You know? Well... One really important thing doing this job was to trust the people that you're working with. Mm. Trust Alexandra, trust, trust Timmy. Trust the process. Trust Dion and the team behind us because it is a group effort. Yeah. And um, every day we came into work with a supportive team yeah. that allowed us to be vulnerable. And we didn't do it on our own. No, exactly. And, um, you know, in any times of struggle, you just lean on your partner and your friend and, you know, magic hopefully happens. So in that, mm. what I learned the most was just to trust and be trusted yeah. by the people around you. I'd say the same, you know, because it's really, it's one thing being able to go on stage and do eight shows a week or 12 shows a week and and try and make the show different every time in theatre. Mm -hmm. But this you get one shot and once it's on film, it's on film mm -hmm. and that's it forever. So you kind of have to trust the process and allow yourself to be open to constructive criticism, allow the director to be able to tell you something and you adapt that there and then and you go for it. So being open and being vulnerable in this process is a big, big deal. And I just... Uh, I would, you know, if I could turn back time and do it all again, I most certainly would because we had the best time and I yeah, cannot stress time. that enough. Like, I really hope they have amazing behind the scenes footage <laughs> because you would just see us giggling all the time, all, all of us, every single person, down to the runners, down to cameramen, everyone, just, it was a delight. Oh, that sounds really yeah. good. I want to see that now. I want to yeah. see that. Uh, no, I want to see it. I want to yeah. see it. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds amazing. Um, and just quickly on that, so were, obviously you had to trust the process, but were there any particular challenges that you found as well? Um, do you know what? The, the main challenge is, is making a small budget film. You don't have a lot of time mm. necessarily yeah. on set to create. Um, so we were always pushed, pushed for time. Yeah. Okay. And so that created this magic sometimes mm. because you're, you're mm. working against the clock. Yeah, yeah, sometimes but, um, you're under pressure. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. And you're, you're constantly working under pressure. But um, that was never transferred to us. It was just a yeah. given. And like yeah. I said, the environment was so supportive. But I think generally that may have been uh, a big a, a challenge. I For guess. everyone across the For board, everyone, probably, yeah, yeah. with the, the, the timing and, yeah. and stuff like that. But we, we made it work. Yeah, and I'm so grateful for yeah. what, we, what we produced. You really did make Absolutely. it work. We yeah, all, it, said, it definitely took a massive team. As they say, it takes a village. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Well, pressure makes diamonds. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> Beautiful. This was a diamond. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. much. Thank you guys so much. And congratulations again. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, darling. Oh. You are